The first is a fast chicane through the Brabham and Jones stands. They accelerate down to turn three, a 90 degree right hander. The exit consists of a fast left right onto a short straight. Then it's hard on the brakes for a right-hander towards the louder stand at turn six. Before swinging past an eight towards slow cane in front of the park stand. Then it's flat out through the long sweeping left-hand curve. before easing off into the very fast left-right by the weight stand. Another fast straight that sweeps you over to the right, before breaking hard into the 90-degree right-hand turn 13. Another 90-degree take towards cross stand to the slowest turn on circuit. Then you through turn 10 before accepting along pit straight to it. At the end pit, tricky left right chicane, Decida du Sol. He swing through the curve at all, a left hand to the long back straight. You then break for the up hander that lifts the speed of the line straight. That prepares you for the red curve with a long medium hand over rest. Now you enter the slow section of the circuit. Sharp right leads you to the Pino left turn. That leads you up to the Pico de Pato, the slowest part of the circuit. You then negotiate the two left-hand bumpy off-camber sweeping curbs that brings you round towards the end of the lap. As soon as you turn through Yonkau, it's hard acceleration uphill all the way past Subido de Box, driving hard to the finish line. It's maximum acceleration down the pit straight before breaking hard into the slippery right-hander, the curve on. Then you sweep through a fast right towards the Curva de la Confiteria. After accelerating away from the apex, it's just a dab on the brakes and sweep through the next fast chicane. Then one right hand bend you onto the straight. Up through the gearbox towards the Ascari curve. With still, this is a full speed by take shoots the tight end stops. A series of tests take you into the medium left. Boo. You fight a short speed towards very tight full center. Careful with the throttle exiting the slow right. After accelerating out and past the pit and entrance, you brake very hard for the final tight right-hander, Hokia. Then it's pedal to the metal as you negotiate the final full speed left at Tribune, a home straight. The lap starts with the left and run towards the Tamburel lane, a medium left right. A short straight towards the next chicane. This left right, the next chicane, which can be taken at reasonable speed. Get ready to change the gear by probe tight left hand in pose. Ease your way through and accelerate uphill moving through the gears. 
Next is the Piratella, a double apex left-hander. The first is medium speed, the second is faster still. Then Aquinarati at right, the second Titans hill. Which leads you to the slow and the ship. This time left. Full through the curves until you arrive at the slow part of the track. Rivets top left. Rivazza 2 swings you back towards the final straight. Just the Tragado cane to go. The right feed back onto the start straight and plap. It's maximum acceleration all the way down this widening straight. Now it breaks turn was to be a take on the circuit. You immediately attack turn two, accelerate 90 degree left. Gives you into the long Renault curve. Get a lot of grip around this turn over the blind crest. The next short straight prepares you for the 180 degree Repsol. Then another shorter straight to take you down towards the first slow bend, the Seat, a tight left-hander. There's a switch that takes the 90 degree hand ver. Next, you negate the pill camps of a fast right hand. Then you fly past the old Nissan curve at full speed. Before breaking hard, 90 degree Lacaxa left hander. Accelerate up to the 90 degree right hander, Banco de Sabel. before launching the car through the fast downhill right-hander. Just on the brakes for the awesome final right-hand bend that leads you into a new lap, a modern fast circuit and a great test for any driver. The start of the lap is often frantic, braking hard for the narrowing saint Devot corner, scene of many a spectacular crash. If you survive that, it's full power up through Beau Rivage towards Massenet, a medium left-hander leading into Casino Square. Mind the barrier right to exit the square. Then down toward Urb. Then catapult towards Lerves. It's a puffly slow hairpin. The inside rear wheel spins. Exit right over the curb. And right again to the entrance of the famed tunnel, Virage du Portier. This is the top speed section. Difficult to be accurate in the poor light. Downhill heavy braking. Nouveau Chicane, a great pass opportunity. Another short straight to Tabac, a fourth gear left-hander. A short burst to the swimming pool complex. A fast left then right, followed by another slower right left. Now to the Rascas, the slowest part of the circuit. Sweeping left and then followed by a 180 degree right. A very short straight past the pit entrance. The final right takes you onto the finishing straight, which anything but straight. The start straight immediately sweeps you away to the right, before slowing down for the left-hander scene of many crashes. Then it's immediately onto the brakes for a 180-degree right-hander that takes you into a short straight. Heavy braking for the next slightly downhill right-left chicane. Then a terrifying right-hander between the walls in fifth gear. Before going back down the gearbox for Pot de la Concorde chicane. Then it's another long straight and up to top gear. You pass under the bridge just before chicane, taking it easy on entry but really opening up on the exit. Yet another straight brings you to the second of the hairpins. First or second gear and hold a tight line through the apex. Once around this hairpin, it's hard on the accelerator. The gentle right then left can easily be taken at full speed.
but it's a very tight final chicane just after the pit entry. You move off the track slightly, exit, use the grass if necessary, as you flick your car through the gears and pop the pits to complete your lap. A very short pit heads towards turn one, flat and top gear. Immediately into turn two, Estoril, a never ending right hander taken initially in fourth and then through to top gear. A short back straight, slightly uphill, leads towards Adelaide Hairpin. First gear for the Hairpin, one of the slowest corners on the circuit. Now build up speed again, just take top gear before the nerving shot right. Carrot speed to the left hander called 180 degrees. Sweeping right, accelerating hard towards Miller Chicane. At the Miller Chicane, come down two gears, being downhill right, then left. Lots of force here. Immediately in Cato Dope, water tower, right under. Accelerate. Trucking the wheel, heading down into a chain. Can... Lots of grip, be careful of the curbs through there as you launch into the final corner. A first gear right hander, extremely slow. The new grid at Silverstone moves nearer to the first corner. It's hard on the accelerator, easing off slightly on the approach to Cops. Again on the power as you hit the apex for a fast exit. Then a short straight eases you into the Maggots Beckett's complex, a series of fast turns, right, left, right. Another left swings you through Chapel, an easy curve. Now it's hard acceleration all the way down the hangar straight. A dab on the brakes and you keep a smooth line around the fast Stowe corner. From Stowe, you sweep downhill into the Vale. Or break into 90 degrees left and exit into corner. Once more, it's hard acceleration of corner and into short straight, the working overtime. Next, the top abject up left, followed by right under. Along the short farm straight, under the bridge, into the infamous banked bridge corner before breaking hard into Terry. A touch the accelerator makes you Auckland's board field. You take a fairly wide line into Luffield, powering on early. Control the power at the exit and past pit lane entrance. Sweep around Woodcote to a new lap. You start by climbing uphill towards the tight right-handed Castrol curve. That takes you into a sweeping straight. A slight curve takes you downhill at speed towards the Remus curve. It's hard on the brakes for this very tight right-hander. Then set off downhill towards the slow Gosset curve. On the exit, you bury the throttle and prepare for the Nicky Lauda curve. This is a fast sweeping left-hander, blending straight into a second left. The exit takes you into the high-speed power horse curve. The second aspect, the medium A1 curve, which takes part pit lane entrance. The Mopicom curve takes you down a gear or two. As you turn right, accelerate hard through the exit and into the start-finish straight over the line to complete your lap. Build up speed towards the first corner. Easing off throttle sees you around the fast Nord curve which tightens on the exit. Then it's out into the tree-line section of the circuit. Reaching over 200 miles per hour along this stretch, VMAX here. Now break first issue. This is the Clark P. Titan tree. 
exit to a large shipping rock built up to 100 miles plus towards Hocken Chicane. The brake forces are incredible at Hockenheim, with drivers going from two holes and up to a 60 in just a few meters. Ready to brake for the next curve, which is very slow. Touch Chicane is a potential accident spot. Once safely with the off curve, it's acceleration all the way to the last of the three chicanes. This is a left right, making had to be out. Power on is critical. The exit is hard acceleration again as you speed towards the stadium section. You arrive at the right hand Ajib curve first, a very far corner entry. Accelerating away, but not for long as you arrive at the left hand head in the south curve. Another left right chicane takes the last a pair of runners. The final one is the opal curve, which leads you towards the end of the lap. Your lap begins by heading downhill into the unsighted turn one. It's a 180 degree right hander. Make sure you take a good line here, it's very slippery. A short straight takes you into medium left. Try to keep a tight line again here. Continuing downhill is a high speed right hander, turn three. That takes you to a medium straight, which has a slight dog leg to the right. A narrowed far left hander leads you to a long sweeping 180 degree right hander. You get plenty of grip in this turn, especially at the exit. At the end of another short straight comes a very tight right-left used curves. That's followed by a technical left followed by a far left combination. Accelerate into a very fast right. No room for error here. Another short straight with a fast downhill right-hander that can catch you if you're not constantly. Before you can catch your breath again, it's heavy braking towards slow left near the pit lane entrance. And then there's the final curve, a 180 degree bend to the right. Accelerate all the way through the exit and over the line to complete your lap. The charge from the grid leads you into the slowest part of the circuit, La Source hairpin. Then a gentle right takes you through the old starting grid. Now you're charging downhill. Into terrifying speed, left, right, gentle left, Eau Rouge and Radion. Next is all about speed. The first section of the circuit takes you along a high speed straight, gently uphill all the way. Prepare for hard braking into Le Coombe, a tight right left chicane. A short burst to take Malmody, a demanding right-hander. Accelerate down before breaking into Rivage, a 180-degree right-hander. That's immediately followed by a left, still very much downhill. Which leads you toward Pouin, a double left-hander taken very far. There's another short straight here. That prepares you for the medium right-left Fania chicane. Another burst of acceleration until you enter Stavolo, a tricky right that turns you towards home. Another fast right, then it's high speed all the way to Blanchimont down towards the very tricky bus stop camp. Hard on the brakes as you slow dramatically for the left turn into the bus stop. Accelerate right through the exit of the chicane and down to the end of the long lap. The start at Monza has a very long run to the first chicane. As with all first bends, there can often be trouble. No sooner are you through the first left right than you're pitched into another. These make up very anti-Kudjir, use plenty of exploration on the exit.
the high speed curve of Grandi turns you to the right. We are now heading towards the Variante della Roggia, which is another tight left right chicane. Use the curbs. After the exit, a short straight towards the first Lesmo. Hard acceleration before breaking into the second Lesmo. Full speed ahead as you sweep at full speed through the Curva del Seraglio. Then it's another chicane. This time it's the medium left right Variante Escari. One who suddenly is case of opening up and taking it right to the back straight to the parabola. The entry is always tricky as you have to judge your braking exactly. But once you get the exit right, the parabolica is tremendously rewarding. You get an amazing amount of grip through the exit as you drive for the line. Yet again into top gear over the finish line. First you accelerate down to turn one, scene of many a first lap incident. And it's aggressively the best. Lots and lots of grip, use the curb on the exit. Then there's a short straight towards a very grippy left-hander. This is a great corner, you really attack it before the sweep downhill. Now you stay tight, surprisingly tight, for the forward curve. A lot of sweep will gain a lot of speed towards the Dunlop curve. A little bumpy in the king. Now apply the power so you're accelerating hard all the way through the apex and to the exit. You then sweep uphill, gaining speed all the way through the next fast chicane. Another short straight here towards the RTL curve. You flick down through the gears and sweep smoothly through the left, ready for the right-hander. You can take tremendous speed through the apex. This looks like a curve, but it's easily full power for a Formula 1 car in top gear. Now it's the VDOL chicane, a good overtaking place. Hard on the brakes, the curbs are ruthless through here. You then open up on the exit towards the final Coca-Cola curve. You have to slow on the way in. It goes on forever, this last corner. And accelerate into a new lap. From a downhill start, you charge to the first corner, decelerating all the way in. The second curve is much tighter, but still quite fast because of camber. Next is the high speed S curve, which is a series of two left-right combinations. Attack this hard for a good lap. An off-camber right-hander leads into the never-ending Dunlop curve. Once you're through the Dunlop curve, be ready for a switch to the right for the two Degna curves. The second exit can be tight, but there's lots of grip. You have a short straight exit to the right slope, you arrive at the hairpin. Take first or second gear through the hairpin. The exit takes you up through the gearbox, sweeping right at high speed. Then you arrive at Spoon, a double generates enormous loads upon the driver as you build up G-force. On exit, it's hard acceleration as the corner opens up. Then 130R, a very high speed left-hander, one of the world's greatest corners. Finally, you approach the slowest part of the circuit, Casino Chicane, a first gear, right, left. On the exit, it's a simple case of accelerating through the right curve to the finish line. 